Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen, looking at the new Persistent Universe trailer from E3, the latest on the Drake Vulture salvage teaser, a summary of calling all devs that looked at escape pods, the Reliant, cargo in zero cargo ships, weather and agent smithing. Star Citizen released a new Persistent Universe 2018 trailer. It was shown during the PC gaming show at E3, though you could have been forgiven for thinking it was all about 3.2's release, because that's what I thought. But there is no way those capital ships, the Idris, Javelin and Bengal, are coming in 3.2. The video was labelled PC Gaming 2018 Persistent Universe trailer, suggesting that it's content that may all be coming this year. It was only a minute 37, but it was very pretty and all captured in engine. I still very much doubt the capital ships are coming this year, but we will have to wait and see to see if that title was accurate. The Drake concert teaser. So there's been a load of images in the Star Citizen official videos recently that people on Reddit have pieced together somewhat, and it's assumed that this is the Drake Vulture small salvage ship, which will be revealed on Thursday the 14th of June, and then some more info on the 15th with RTV. They even teased the phrase, we know how citizens can devour every scrap of information when it comes to these new additions to Star Citizen. If it can salvage stuff on the ground and in space, then I think it might have a place in the verse, or at least reasons to have both a Reclaimer and Vulture if you're all about salvage. The front piece of the ship potentially could be a clamp even. We'll know more soon enough though. Calling all devs. So let's go through a summary of the calling all devs questions. A question on escape pods was asked. A few systems need to come together before they will implement escape pods, service beacons, item 2.0 integration, and detachable ship parts. I think this is also part of the multi-physics grid uh, stuff as well. The escape pod will essentially be a seat that detaches from a ship. They will be pretty spartan. They will get you away from your immediate area and then stabilize you there in space. They'll give you life support, but they will have a very limited range and you're going to require a pickup. You're not going to be able to travel back to a station or something unless you're blown up straight outside of one. The mechanics don't sound too far off of being implemented though. Reliant buffs. So the Reliant isn't really planned on having a major rework. Its variants are getting added in 3.4 in December. However, they are looking to increase its cargo capacity slightly and expect a slight weaponry buff in some form as well. They're also working on separating VTOL from landing gear and the ability for the Reliant and other ships to transform separate of landing modes. But obviously VTOL will also be a separate mode as well, or at least the thrusters will operate independently uh, of other thrusters. Zero cargo ships, the Aurora and 300, for example, weren't designed, um, weren't concepted or or didn't have stats built for when single box missions were a consideration for the game. So literally doing a mission where you've got to pick up a box and take it back. They are allowing a few ships like the Aurora to be able to carry small mission boxes just by placing it in like a cubby hole in the ship and the store all boxes, the externally managed storage will be enabled for you to store small amounts of cargo and mission items as well. The 300 series rework will have a doorstep ramp rather than a ladder so you'll be able to more easily place small items too by actually walking into your ship. Weather is not coming in 3.3 for Hurston. The planet will have Lawville, which is the uh, hero landing zone there, new biomes, structures, outposts, flora. Weather is on the backlog though. It will be procedural and the goal is to be able to see clouds and weather systems from orbit, but it will be whatever turns out to be sensible and doable in game is what they will finally go with. Agent Smithing, you will be able to see friends where they are once they're added you to your friends list or whatever and travel to them via space flight you won't be able to instantly teleport to them with your character or literally take over an npc with your character and become that npc however there was a little more on agent smithing on reddit that disco unclarified uh, further stating that teleporting of your player character and taking the place of an npc is the function they ruled out literally taking over and becoming that NPC fully with your main player character. Potentially remote controlling an NPC might still be a thing in the future though, which is separate from what they were talking about. So it got a bit complicated, but remote controlling NPCs might be a thing. 
It requires additional clarification, something which they will try to answer next week or at least in the future. You're not going to be able to teleport to other players, but you might be able to remote an NPC. This month's featured spotlight is the Daymar Rally, and they're giving away a rally pack of a Tumbrel Cyclone and an Aegis Vulcan, which coincidentally is all the hardware you need to enter the rally. The Daymar Rally is an annual community organized event which is set to have its inaugural endurance race on the 27th of January. 2019. There will be three divisions over a 300 kilometer course set on Crusader's Moon, Daymar. It is an in game event and I am very much up for these. A four person crew can sign up their team now with a ground vehicle and support vehicle. More info, the sign up, and complete rule book can be found on DaymarRally.com. All you need to do to be in for a chance of winning that rally pack though is to be subscribed to my channel and comment on any of my videos throughout June. One per video. Each video gives you another chance to win. Also, I'm working with Shadow, which is a cloud-based subscription gaming PC service that gives you an alternative to upgrading, but also as a gaming PC anywhere. I'm trying to make the service as Star Citizen friendly as possible, but please check that out again in the description below if you're interested. And using the promo code BOARDGAMER will give you a discount too if you decide that you like it. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help me and I'll see you in the verse.